ATL Jacob is an established producer who's made countless hits for Future, Young Thug, Kodak Black, Lil Baby, Kanye, and the list goes on. Even though he's very versatile and makes a wide variety of different beats, I feel like his most frequent sound are those dark Atlanta trap beats that he makes for Future. So in this video, I'm going to be going over how you can make your own dark trap beats for Future, similar to how ATL Jake would make them. Let's get into it. Okay, so to start this off, I'm going to be breaking down this loop that I made. Also, I've been noticing that like my camera is really close up to my face in my YouTube videos. So I decided to have my camera on an upside down shoe box and some heavy duty trash bags. So I'm just going to play this loop for y'all real quick. Definitely has that simple dark future vibe to it. Sensational. But to start things off, I got this clip right here that I rendered out. Looks like what I did was I pitched it up, stretched it, and then reversed it. So here's what the original sounds like. Pretty much just like a basic ambient pad and I wanted to switch it up, make it a little bit more unique. So I added my modifications to it. And starting off with melodies for these kind of beats in general, it's always good to start off with like an ambient sound that you can use because what you can do is you can render that out in Edison and then stretch it or pitch it up or just add some modifications, some VSTs to it to make it a lot more unique. Next, I added these piano bass notes and some chords to layer it with. Really helps to establish that dark vibe to it. Also, I'm only using two notes for the bass notes. I really think that the simplicity helps establish the bounce within the loop, and it makes it a lot easier for like an artist like Future to rap on. So next, I just added some of my ear candy and other orchestral elements. This would be like a good place for you to put like your own sauce and own stuff that you like adding to your loops. And then lastly, just topped it off with two bells. Again, going back to the simplicity, a lot of this loop is pretty much one to two bars being repeated over and over again. That makes it a lot easier for the rapper to rap on it and helps to establish the bounce with the within the loop itself. So this loop and 19 others that are pretty similar are in my brand new Red Moon Multi Kit. And here I have 20 loops in the style of Narda Wick, ESTG, Future, Southside, ATL Jacob. And I also have a new 2023 trap drum kit that I made that's pretty much just has all the essential sounds that you're going to need for these loops as well. If you're making a lot of modern dark trap beats, I need a good loop kit and drum kit to help you with that. Then I definitely suggest my new Red Moon Multi Kit. I've already had a bunch of people that made beats with it posted on their story as well and it's coming out great so far. Also, little special treat for all you guys who are on YouTube and watching this. If you guys use the code SECRET20 when you guys go to buy this kit. So use the code SECRET20 then you guys will get a free 20% off on me. I'm gonna keep this up for the next three days only, so I definitely suggest if you're interested in this kit, then going and copying it now. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into the rest of the beat. All right, so I'm just gonna drag the loop into here, and then I'm gonna set it to 158 BPM. And then I have all the stems in here as well, so I'm just gonna cut all these out. So I'm gonna put this on stretch, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise it up one semitone, and then I'm gonna put up the tempo to 164. Tonight's one I'm gonna go to the drum kit that's part of my kit, and I'm gonna find an 808 that I can use. Use this one. I'm gonna route all my loops and all the stems within it to channel one. I'm gonna add some parametric EQ. Just gonna take out some of that low end. Then I'm gonna add one of the classic ATL Jacob rolls at the end, which every other producer does as well. Gonna 
basic rack kick. And I'm also going to reverse polarity on my 808 so that the kick and the 808 kind of blend together. different kick. Lastly, we're just gonna add some hi-hat rolls to top it off. I've always kind of struggled with making like those ATL Jacob and Southside hi-hat rolls. I don't know how they like they make them sound like so smooth and just glide into one another. But first, make sure that you put cuts off on your hi-hats. Then this little trick that I found is you can like extend a hi-hat for however long you want it to roll, either like there or there or wherever you want it. And you press, oh, shoot, is it Alt S, Alt R. All right, I have, to, I have to look it up again. I forgot what it was. God damn it. Shit, okay. It's Alt-U. I tried every single freaking Alt and then letter except Alt-U. We're gonna do Alt-U and then see, look, it, it does that. And then you can change this knob right here to see how fast or slow you want it to roll. Let me try something a little interesting. something unique oh my gosh okay wait hold up this is actually nice okay what i'm gonna do next is i'm just gonna quickly just level this and then lay it out for you guys and then you guys listen to the full beat but that's going to wrap it up for this video thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end hope that this video helped you out with anything that you were looking to learn make sure that you guys go check out my red moon multi kit if you guys are interested again if you guys use the code secret 20 that you guys can get 20 percent off and it's only going to be going for the next three days so i'll definitely go cop that kit if you guys are interested in it but that's going to wrap it up for me y'all can listen to the full beat right now i'm out Back, lose it.